Chemical gardens require two ingredients, a grain of metal salt and a clear liquid that is known as water glass solution. What happens when those two ingredients come together? Within seconds to minutes a chemical garden grows. This process is an example of a chemical reaction. The new material is an often colorful solid making up the wall of our chemical gardens. But why do we get upright tubes? In the beginning the wall is only a very thin film around the salt grain and water from the water glass can slowly pass through it. This water dissolves more of the salt and eventually breaks the film and the solution bursts out. The jet from this tiny water gun rises upwards because it is lighter than the surrounding liquid. The outer layer of the jet now reacts with the water glass again to form similarly shaped hollow tubes. The thick tubes are slightly different. Here the newest part of the walls continuously break, expand and heal, creating wider odd shaped structures. In many cases there are air bubbles stuck on the tubes that also try to rise to the top. The bubbles can act as a little self-closing door, but this door opens only when enough salt solution pushes out. This explains some of the abrupt or jerky growth of the tubes.